In this video we will see how we can use Sweep Wizard to create curved pipes like these pipes. And uh, we will make two versions of curved pipes. This pipe is uh, made in a 2D plane and we will sweep a circle along a line in X and Z plane. And to make this pipe we will sweep a circle along the Z and X and Y plane. So let's get started. I will close this scene and I will start a new scene and we will come up here to select sweep wizard and here we will use uh, standalone and also uh, away from the surface and we we'll click finish and we have the grid, the cross section and we see the guide curve this guide curve is a Bezier curve and you can change the look of the curve by dragging the handles but we will not use this curve, so I will delete it when it is selected. We will use um, a polyline. So we'll select the polyline command and we come down here. And now it is important that the guide curve and the cross section for the profile has the same origin. Otherwise it will not work. So therefore we will start here at the origin. So this will be the starting point for the guide curve. Click here and I will drag it upward. Then I will right click and type 100 and hit enter. Then I will drag on this direction perpendicular to the last line and right click here and type 100. Then I will drag upward and right click and type 100 and hit enter. Then we press escape to exit the line command. Then we will round these corners, so we will use fillet to do that. And I will click on this node and drag. And when we do that, we see here in the properties that uh, the value for the radius is now highlighted in blue. That means when I drag, I can also now type in a value. I will type 35 and hit enter. And I will do the same with this one. Drag, and then I will type 35 and hit enter. So now the guide curve is finished, so we will press finish here. And we got the guide curve and also the cross section for the profile. And we see that the guide curve is now placed in the center of the, this uh, cross section. So uh, we will now draw the profile and we will use a center radius, a circle. And I will click here in the center. I will drag and right click and type uh, 20 and hit enter. Then we'll click finish and we got this part. So now we have possibility to change the diameter here by dragging this handle. But if we drag too much so that the circle will be too large, it will crash. So we have some limitations and that's because the lines will touch each other here. So that's why they will crash. So, but we can right click the handle here and uh, choose edit distance from center point and I will select this circle. And here I will type 20 and hit enter. Now we will make a tube of this part. So we will come up here and select shell part. And here in the properties, we will use inside as shelling type. Open faces will be this one and that one. And the thickness will be two millimeters. And then I will click OK. And we've got a, a curved tube. And you can also come in here to change the thickness by selecting the shell part in IntelliShape level. And here we can change, for instance, to four millimeters, hit enter and click outside to deselect. If you want to make any more changes, you can do that. We come up here to the scene browser and we can right click the sweep, go to edit guide curve. Now we see the guide curve here. We can select the, the lines and the arcs and so on, but you cannot move this line so that it will leave the origin. 
because if you do that it will not work it, it will crash so the this line has to be in the same origin as the circle but you can extend the line upward so when we click here on this side of the midpoint you will we will have the arrow head up here. We can grab this handle to extend the line in this direction. So here I can double click the box, the value box, and I type 120 and hit enter. I can also change the length of this line. I cannot change it in this direction, but on the other direction. So I click here on this side of the midpoint so that we have this arrow head here. I can grab this handle and drag it. I can also type a double click here and type 120. I can also change the length of this line. So I click on this side of the midpoint so that we have the arrow head here and I'll double click the value and type 120 and hit enter. So then I will click finish and we have changed the, the length of uh, this uh, curved tube. Well, there are some settings we can make so that this tube will be more flexible. So we will select the tube and then we start the try ball and we will right click and hold and drag and we will copy this tube and turn off the try ball. Then we select this new tube, come over to the scene browser and we expand the part and right click the sweep and go to edit feature options and down here we have a link profile to path if we select this box if we do that we will link the circle to the guide curve that means that if i move this guide curve this circle will follow the guide curve because it is linked to it so i will click ok then i will right click the sweep again and go to edit guide curve and now I can grab this line and move it. I can also click this line and change the length of that line in this direction. For instance, I will type 250 and hit enter and I click OK. And it will work because now the circle is linked to the guide curve. So if I expand the sweep here in the scene browser and select the guide curve and then I come here into the scene I can grab the handles here on the guide curve and make some changes for instance I can right click this handle and choose snap to point and I can snap to this center point of this tube like so so in this way you, if you link the profile to the guide curve you can make the tube more flexible so this was how you can sweep along a 2D curve and make a flexible curved pipe. Next will be how to make a curved pipe with a 3D curve. So I will close this scene and then I will start a new one. Now we will sweep a circle along a 3D curve. So we come up here to select the 3D curve tab and click this button 3D curve. And now here in the scene we have the origin and we have also we see the x-axis and y-axis so now we have uh, the x and y plane so before we draw the line for the pipe we will try to make another type of pipe by using a spline so we come up here to select spline command and we will begin the line here in the center of the scene the origin i click here then I will drag and continue to click to make a smooth curve like this one, like so. And here I right click to end the line and I will also press escape to exit the spline command. So if I move the camera now, you will see that the line is now placed on the X and Y plane. So if I grab a node and move it it seems like I'm dragging it in X and Y plane but if we move the camera again we will see that I have also moved it in Z axis so to move a node more precise you have to use the tri ball you select the node 
and turn on the trial now you can move the node in any direction you want and also you can type in a value and so on by using the tribal. So I turn off the tribal here and I will also move this node a little bit more off the, the plane. So let's see what we can do with this 3D curve like this one. So I will click OK. Then we go back to the Home tab and to the Sweep Wizard command. Select Sweep Wizard and I will click here on this 3D curve and the cross section will be placed at the starting point of the 3D curve. And I will draw a circle, uh, set the radius, click here in the center and I will drag and I will right click and I will type 8 because I want to begin with a small circle so I will see if it will work with this type of curve. So then I will click finish and this circle will now be swept along this 3D curve. And we have the possibilities to uh, change the diameter. But if we make this circle too large, uh, the curve can be too complex for um, a large circle. And then it will crash. So that's why you can begin with a small circle and then you will see, will I, do I have to change the curve? so it will not be too complex or does it work with this uh, diameter. Anyway, by using a 3D curve like this you can make a cable or a hydraulic hose for instance. There are many possibilities by using a 3D curve and also a sweep wizard in this way. I will select this cable, delete it and I will also select the curve and now we will draw the line for the curved pipe, come up here to the 3D curve and select this or click this command. And then I will come up here to select line command. I will begin here at the origin. I will drag and here I will turn on the tribal. Then I will right click the center handle and I choose to point and I will click here on the starting point. And then I will left click and drag this handle. And here I will type 100 and hit enter. So now I need another line. Before I draw another line, I have to add a point here. And to add a point, you press P on your keyboard. P as point. Then you can grab this handle and drag. Because now we have added a point here. And now we can type 100 here and hit enter. And here you need another point. So I press P and I will push this handle and I will drop it there and type 100 and hit enter. And here I need an end point so I will press P and drag and then I will turn off the tribal and right click to end the line and then I press escape to exit the line command. So now we have to round these corners and we do that by using fillet. You come over here, select fillet and the radius will be 35 and to make a, a fillet here you have to select two lines. I will select this line and this one and this line and this line like so. Then I will click OK and we got this 3D curve now. Next will be to draw a circle to sweep the circle along this line. So we come over to the Home tab and we select Sweep Wizard and we Click on the 3D curve and the cross section will be placed at the starting point of the 3D curve. Here we will draw a circle. So I come up here, select a center radius circle, click on the origin and drag and right click and type 20 and hit enter. Then I will click finish and we got this um, part. And it is same here as before. We can use this handle to change the diameter if you want to. But we will make a hole through this part now to make a pipe of it. So I will come up here to select shell part and we use inside shelling type. Open faces will be this face and that face and the thickness will be two millimeters. Then I will click OK 
I will got a, a curved tube. So if we want to make any changes to this one, we can do that. We go to the scene browser, expand the part, and here we right click the sweep feature and go here down to edit feature options. And now here we will check this box. So we will link the circle to the guide curve. So then we'll click OK and we right click the sweep feature and then we click edit guide curve. So now if we want to move this line, we can do that. But first we have to select this line and this arc, turn on the tribal, then I will drag this handle and let it go there and type 100 and hit enter. Then I will turn off the tribal and if I will move it in uh, this direction, I will continue to select, shift select this line and this arc, turn on the tribal and I will can move it in this direction type 60 and hit enter and if I will move it upward I will turn off the tribal then I have to select uh, this arc this line this arc and this uh, line turn on the tribal and move it upward perhaps 50 millimeters like so then I will turn off the tribal then I can click OK and we have changed the, the pipe so in this way you can make a flexible pipe and to make it fit in your design. So now we have made two versions of curved pipes. We have used a 2D curve and a 3D curve. So it is possible to make any sort of curved pipe so it will fit your design by using sweep command. So I will close this scene. 